Hello and welcome back. This video is aimed towards um, the beginner or anybody who's just received an error press and wants to uh, know a couple of recipes that they can use uh, to, different, to make different types of coffee. So uh, we can, I'm going to be using the AeroPress Go today. Uh, it's got a slightly smaller chamber, um, so any of the recipes that you see today with this one can easily be replicated with the uh, full-size AeroPress. Now the first thing that you'll need is a set of scales. Uh, this is really important because um, you need to weigh all of the ingredients. You can do it volumetrically, uh, but that's not as accurate. There are indicators on the side of the AeroPress that do allow you to uh, do this without weighing, uh, but I always recommend weighing at a bare minimum. Uh, you'll need a kettle. This is a Gooseneck Fellow Stag EKG kettle. Uh, you don't need uh, the Gooseneck and you don't need it to be variable control, but it is very nice having uh, uh, the capability of knowing what temperature I'm boiling at and that having that control that the Gooseneck offers. Uh, I'm also going to be using my Commandante grinder. Now, if you're a beginner, I do not expect you to be using one of these. Um, if you're using pre-ground, that's fine. Just ask for a pour-over kind of consistency. For reference, today I'm going to be using 25 to 26 clicks on the Commandante. Uh, so I'll show you what that looks like uh, with the grinds later on. I'm also using uh, some Indian natural coffee I believe. So we've got the silicon lid, not actually going to be using this. I'm not going to go through everything just because uh, I've, I will link the two unboxings that I've done uh, before, the AeroPress and the AeroPress Go. So this is what it looks like. We've got the plunger and the chamber, we've got the cap and we've got some filters just over to the side. All right, awesome. So my water's just coming up to a boil now. I'm going to use 15 grams of coffee beans. I'm also just going to use a tiny little spray of water. Uh, give it a quick mix. And this just helps this just helps to remove all of that static. Awesome. 25 clicks on the Commandante. I'm gonna grind this up real quick. paper filter that I'm going to use. I'm going to pop that into the cap just like that. Now I'm going to do this uh, the traditional way up so it's not going to be inverted or anything. I'm going to screw that cap on and I'm actually going to brew into this guy. Now this has um, some measurements on the side uh, so if you're going volumetric you can go by that. And I'm just going to Take my coffee grinds. Mm, smells good. And it's showing up as 15 grams, which is perfect because that's what we want. I'm just gonna uh, give it a quick little shake, and our water is now ready. So I'm gonna tear that out. So we're back at zero now, and I'm gonna put my water in. So we're gonna start at 30, 45 grams. And I'm just going to start that timer too. Awesome. Just going to give it a quick little swirl. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put in the rest of my water. We're at 30 seconds, coming up to 40. Uh, you can stir at this point. And I'm going to go up to 250 grams. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly put that plunger in. I'm going to put it in at an angle. and then I'm going to pull up just the tiniest little bit. And as you can see, that's really slowed down um, the dripping, which is what we want. We want the water in here um, to brew. So we're in this recipe, we've used 15 grams of coffee, um, ground pretty coarse. We're also using 250 grams or mils of uh, water, hot water at 96 degrees and uh, we're, we're brewing for two minutes to three minutes. So if we start at two minutes, um, start plunging, sorry, then it's gonna take us to two minutes 30, which I'm gonna do now. I wanna guide it down. And we're gonna wait for the hiss. 
awesome. I'm going to stop our timer. So that was at 250, just under. Oh, last little drips. That was the first recipe. So we've got this delicious cup of coffee. Can't wait to taste it. And um, we'll get ready for recipe number two. Awesome, and we're back. I got a little bit carried away drinking that delicious coffee. It was very smooth and fruity. Cool. So I'm going to uh, now talk about our second recipe, which is uh, when you want to make more than one cup and how to do that. So first of all, I'm going to bring my kettle up to uh, 96 degrees. This time, instead of 15, we're actually going to double the dose to 30 grams. So I'm going to put a filter, a paper filter in this one again. Now you can use um, the reusable stainless steel filters, uh, either or, they have a different uh, taste to it. So I'm just going to pre-wet that. I'm going to put a little spray in my dosing cup. And we're going to grind this at the same uh, coarse setting. Beautiful, okay, that's done. I'm going to set this up, so I'm gonna quickly grab my cap and my filter, important to uh, pre-wet it. Now, sometimes it does bubble up like that, um, so don't be afraid to go in there and just to fix it up, just kinda, you know, tap it, make sure there's no air bubbles and that it's not too wet. You should be fine. Cool. All right, I'm gonna attach that to my base. Sorry, my chamber. And I'm gonna put all of that again onto here and tear it out. Okay, awesome. All right, pop that on. And I'm just going to tap it until it's nice and leveled out. Cool. So for this recipe, I'm going to use the same brew ratio, so 1 to 16.6. Um, because we're using 30 grams of coffee, instead of using 250 grams or mils of water for one cup, we're actually going to expand that to 500. But what we're going to do is we're going to aim to get 250 mils grams of hot water into the Aeropress. It might fall short a little bit, that's okay, because we're gonna make that up in the end and I'm gonna show you how we do that. I've got my 30 grams in. We're gonna take this, we're gonna start it. Now this is for our bloom. I'm just gonna give it a quick swirl. I've started my timer as soon as I've put that water in. And yes, you are gonna have some of that water fall through, that's okay. And again, we're gonna wait for that 30 seconds uh, just to give a chance to release all of those gases and we're going to pour all the way up to the top until it hits that 250 mark or as much as I can fit in here so I am using more coffee grounds double in fact so that does mean that less water will be up here so I will wait for a little bit uh, that is cheeky of me but I will wait of a little bit of water to a uh, coffee to come down um, and then that gives me some more room up here. Cool. Awesome. Now I'm going to pop this over to the side. Uh, and since this is for two people, we're going to use two cups. Cool. Two minutes now. Slowly putting some pressure on. Just feeling the resistance, how much it's pushing back and kind of gauging. All right, and we're done. I've now got my coffee. This is like a concentrate. So I'm just gonna tear that out and we're gonna put in another 250 grams to bring it up to 500. And we're done. That's how you can make two cups of coffee using one AeroPress. And this glass is very hot. Perfect. There we are. 
Okay, and we're back. So, this is now how you can make a really delicious flash brew coffee using the AeroPress Go. Now, I have made another video uh, similar to this, um, and I will link that. It's a little bit more in depth. I've also got a cold brew uh, using, I think, I believe it's a two minute cold brew method using the AeroPress. So, check that out. I'll have it all linked in the description. Um, all right, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the same amount of beans. So that's 15 grams. Oops. Perfect. And I'm going to grind it up. All right, awesome. So now I'm going to brew inverted. So I'm going to go this way up and that's okay because we're going to be using less brew water. So I'm going to put that on, tear it out, and I'm going to put our coffee beans in the AeroPress chamber. Tear it out. This time we're going to use, at the end, 150 grams of water. Then, to make it cold, we're actually going to pour this concentrated coffee over 100 grams of ice. So that gets us to 15 grams of coffee to 250 grams of water dil diluted. Let's go. So again, just like the first time, we're going to put the same amount of bloom anywhere from 30, 45. This one's gone 50. All right. Give it a quick little stir or swirl or whatever you want to do. And when that comes to 30 seconds, I'm going to pour the rest of my water. So again, I want 150 grams of water in. 29, 30, cool. Just making sure that everything is submerged. 48, 49, 50. Now put my kettle back and I'm going to put my cap on to preserve all of the heat that's in there. And I'm actually gonna plunge all the way down. Now that's at one minute, I'm gonna keep an eye on that. I'm not gonna to touch the time. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna tear out my uh, what I'm brewing into and I'm gonna put in 100 grams of ice. That's what's really handy about having 97. Perfect, 100 grams of ice. Now I'm going to take this off, flip very carefully, pull up just the tiniest little amount. So we've got 100 grams of ice and we've got 150 grams of hot brewed coffee that we're going to plunge over that ice. And we're going to start plunging at the two minute mark. Nice. Two minutes, 25. And there we go. It smells delicious. I'm going to enjoy this one. Make sure that all of the coffee has uh, come in contact with the ice and pour that into my cup. Now this is a super tasty, delicious coffee. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this is helpful and I hope this is fun. Um, getting an AeroPress is really cool because you can do all these different types of uh, recipes. Um, and it's also really great because you can, it's small, it's compact and you can take it pretty much anywhere with you. Uh, I'll have a link to purchase one of these or if you want to find out more uh, to my website. Um, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, and if you like this video, see you next time.